congratulations. Thanks. You're here at Tribeca with your film Dreamland. Describe what this moment is like for you. Yeah, it's exciting. It's been a couple of years in the making and uh, it was one of the first projects we took on at our company Lucky Chap. So um, to kind of be here at, at the end of that yeah, journey is just kind of wild and fun. Mm -hmm. And what was it about the story Dreamland that made you want to be a part of it? I think it's, its potential for like cinematic scope was evident on the page. Obviously the, the landscape, the time period, all those things allowed quite a cinematic experience in the right hands and Miles obviously our director was the perfect hands to kind of place this movie in and um, beyond that I just thought it was a, a beautiful character arc for Eugene, Finn's character and um, and the relationship that our characters get to have was just, you know something different that I hadn't explored before. So. And you star in the film you also produce. Talk about the challenge of balancing those two critical roles. They kind of work hand in hand. They, they, they work in tandem a lot of the time. I mean I, I, I often worry that I'm uh, not giving one side of my job all that I can, but to be honest, I think most of the time it, it actually helps. Uh, yeah, it kind of complements each totally other. It's totally seamless. Margot switches between the two fan in a fantastically, and we're so lucky to be able to experience both sides of her talent. You know, so it's fantastic to work with. We'll give you $20 a lot of freedom, later. right? Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks. A lot of freedom. A lot of freedom. <laughs> no, it was fun. It was a good, like, it was just a fun group. It was a fun crew. Everyone, it was, it was a nice small um, group. We're all in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which was so beautiful, and we just had a good time. It was, yeah, it's kind of fun. And what is your hope um, for the audience? Is it the takeaway, the message? I think, uh, I, for one thing, I think they'll be kind of transported to this this time and place, and 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 kind of get lost in the journey that they kind of go on with these characters. I, I think there's a level of escapism in that respect and beyond that I, I uh, oh god what do you want people to say? I don't know I think it's a hard one I, I think it's a, it's a it's a lovely story about um, a kid going into manhood and I think that like mm -hmm. it's important for a lot of young men I remember thinking that when I read the script it's just like there's a very tough transition that of a new world that you don't know about and I think that that's a lovely message but on top of that you know I want people to enjoy it because we really enjoyed it yeah. and I think that um, and I think they will because I think that shines through. Wonderful. <laughs>